Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Blood Bowl 2. I am Disturbing Puppet. Today we're going to be continuing our campaign, or well, not campaign, league. So our Norse team. We're playing our Norse. I do have another team that I built that I probably will play sometime soon. We've got Necromantic up next. Um, last time we got really banged up by the Orcs. So I ended up actually losing my best player. He got killed, and then when I used my Apothecary, the reroll was a kill. So that was great. So I've got a new runner um, that I want to try to level up. I want him to at least end up getting catch. So I've got my Yeti here still with Mighty Blow and Block that we've added. The thrower has Accurate. And what else did I give him? Sure Hands. Uh, the one runner that I had left that had been around for a little while had picked up Catch and Nerves of Steel. Uh, the other runner died. So we have a brand new runner who just has Block and Dauntless, which is what they start with. Uh, I've got a few linemen who have picked up Tackle. Uh, we have an extra strength on a lineman who's lost a point of movement, so kind of an overall trade, put him on the front line. What else have we picked up? We picked up Tackle on uh, one of our Berserkers. We've got Tackle and Dodge on one of the other ones. I uh, picked up extra armor here. I just thought, why not? He'd be someone I could throw on the front line if I have to, and we still need Ivar to get leveled up. We've got four team rerolls. We are going up against an Necromantic team. We've got a bit of a, an advantage on them. Let's take a look at the roster, see if they picked up anything dangerous. Looks like they've lost some players. Uh, so we've got a white. Must be a yeah, niggling injury. So he's picked up dodge there. Interesting. Werewolf has picked up block and tackle. Maybe they start with block. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe not. He's leveled up. He's got block. Must be block that he's added. That makes sense for the werewolves. A zombie with block. A zombie with guard and block. Uh, ghoul has dodge and catch. Interesting. We'll have to keep an eye out on him. The other ghoul just has dodge. I think they start with. Flesh golems haven't leveled up yet, but they do have four strength. All right. So I think we're in an okay position. Hopefully he won't get a star player. If he does, hopefully he won't be that effective. Let's go for it. Okay, he's taking an extra reroll. Halfling Master Chef, who will steal rerolls away from me, and Hack. Who's Hack? Oh, Hack is the Chainsaw Goblin. He's the one who actually killed my uh, runner last time. Evil, evil Chainsaw Goblin. The last time when I played the Orcs, they had the Bomber and the Chainsaw, and my idea was to get the ball first and try to score as quickly as possible so that uh, those players with the illegal weapons would get kicked off. I think that's probably the kind of idea we'll go for this time as well. If I have the choice anyway on the kickoff. Although I would like my new runner to level up. Um, and get some touchdowns, so that might not be easy to do that super quickly with him. There is some construction going on below me, I think, so this is kind of noisy occasionally. I do apologize for that. Just is the only time I could get in and record a game. Hopefully they're going to stop soon. All right, let's see if we get the choice here. Hopefully we do better than last time. Yeah, he's probably going to get the ball first. Oh, he steals two of my rerolls. And he's taking the first kick, so that's not fantastic. Let's get my higher strength guys here. That's a really goofy setup. Alright, you've got increased strength. I'll put you on the front line. I'm going to put Ivar on the front line. Leave my Yeti there. Thrower, you can stay back deep. You've got tackle. Let's put you there. I don't have to worry too much about him dodging around me. The werewolves are pretty fast, though. So we're going to do kind of a staggered setup here a little bit. I 
Yeah, let's go there. So we do have tackle out on the edge. I do have Dauntless in case I want it. Um, which side do I want to go with here for my newbie? Let's actually go here. So we'll try to keep people away from the chainsaw. We'll see what happens. The werewolves are really dangerous because they're actually quite fast and they don't have a decreased agility or anything. We've got Claws, uh, Frenzy, which could end up being a problem for them to throw blocks. But I think this will be an okay setup. We've got a couple extra people. Uh, let's actually swap out, throw my guy with uh, an increased armor out here as well. All right, let's call that good. Let's see what he does. Yeah, Chainsaw's right on the front. Um, let's try to kick it and keep it in play. Try to avoid kicking it right to the goal. So we get one reroll back. Okay, good kick. He's got to go forward. He's got to make a roll to pick it up. Anything I can do to make him take those die rolls and hopefully fail some somewhere. He does have a ton of rerolls because he stole some from me. But that's it for the turn. He can only use one a turn. So hopefully he'll screw something else up. Give him a chance to take advantage of turnover. Hopefully. The orcs really did kind of punish me, but I was able to score. Um, part of it was a misclick. I've been playing a lot of Adeptus Titanicus Dominus, and you kind of place your orders. Oh, nice. And then you click a button down on the right to confirm, and I think that's why when I set up the pass, I clicked down here and in turn, as I wasn't really thinking. And uh, that was a bit of a problem. I definitely want to take a shot at the Goblin Chainsaw. Uh, we might go after the Ghoul here in front. Let's go there. Let's try for a blitz here. Kind of break in a little bit. I don't want to leave the edge totally undefended here, so hopefully, you know, that's about the worst case scenario. We're going to get a push. Um, that's really bad. This is what I'm always afraid of with Frenzy. That's fine. I'll let him pick. Puts me in a really bad spot. Okay, let's be a little bit more careful. Let's go there. How many ghouls do you have? Just two. Okay, I thought I saw another one. It's a zombie. I'm messing with my head. Let's bring you back, just in case. We'll throw some blocks up front, see if we can bust in that way a little bit. New guy, let's take the edge here. Let's try to draw some attention the other way. If we can get the ball, we might be able to get it down to him, potentially. Although I would like to score with the new guy. Alright, blocking time. Let's hit this chainsaw. There we go. I was hoping for an injury there. Just a stone. Gets us right on this area where the ball is, though. Uh, he's got guard. He also has block, and I don't. So this is a little bit dangerous, but let's go for it. Yeah, I don't have block, and he does. So I have to use a reroll. 
I've got Frenzy, so this might be a problem. Well, we can just smack him into the dirt. Um, let's do that. Okay, got a couple guys on the ball. Kind of weird sort of bypassing this front line here. Well, I do have extra strength here, so let's go for this. We both have block. Just a push. Um, let's push him there and actually stay put. Zombies are a bit slow. I don't want to leave too big of an opening here in the center if I can avoid it. And let's move up a little bit here with the thrower. So we can kind of cover the center area and the back if we have to. That's everybody. Those werewolves are really fast, so I do have to be kind of cautious here. Look him down. Okay, just a push. Well, now we're going to go down. So much for our players on the ball. Had to use a reroll there, but he's going to take me down. Hopefully my Yeti will get back up, or not. He'll be knocked out. Great. Just what I always wanted. Just stand you guys up. Let's see. So I'd like to get a hit on him and then have my thrower free to pick up the ball if it comes loose. So I want to get an assist on him. But where am I going to free somebody up? I've got a block here I could make. If we push him away, I can free up my runner to come back. But I really would like him to be the one scoring, potentially. It's just potentially, though. Stopping him from scoring is more important than choosing which player of mine is going to score. comes loose, it's probably not going to end up in a good spot for me. Let's try to hit the ball carrier here. I do have block and tackle. He's got block as well. So he'll be going down. I don't have a choice because I've got Frenzy. But I just automatically followed up. Otherwise I wouldn't. the werewolves could regenerate. I figured they were not undead so that they would uh, not have that. Not paying attention. That's actually pretty good. For him, not for me. Uh, the ghoul ended up with it, which isn't ideal. So that's a bit of a problem.
And nothing else I can really do there. Got a one die block, one die block. I could make it two if I come back. We can also kind of come back this way to try to get to the ghoul from behind. Got a one die block on the edge. I could make it two if I move up my thrower. I haven't used a reroll this turn, have I? I don't think so. Let's try it out here on the edge. I do have block and tackle. He doesn't have block. Uh, I'm actually going to stay put. I could move up there and be next to the player with the ball, but then I'm outnumbered. He'll have an advantage taking me down, whereas here I'm sort of more in the way. I've got a good line here, directly in front. Uh, here I've got block and he doesn't, so let's try for it. Nice. No damage, but drop him. Alright, let's come back and get a hit here. And I'm going to stay put just so we have tackle zone coverage across the way. I might leave my thrower where he's at, honestly. I don't really want to move him up too much. I'll just sort of add a tackle zone here. Keep him back to deal with him if he gets through. Comes the chainsaw. It's a big chunk of undead here. Uh, he's throwing a block with a disadvantage, but it actually is turning out just fine for him. Something that AI does quite a bit, which I think is kind of crazy. But it often works out for him. KO. A lot of knockouts here. Hopefully my guys will recover. Let's take with the zombie. Take me down with one die. It's getting good die rolls. Just pushing my whole line back. He's only moving up one. Okay. Hmm. Okay. 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 <laughs> what are we going to do? Let's see if we can get him out of the way here with one die. We'll not follow him up. Kind of leave an opening to get into the ball carrier. So we're going to blitz. Take a shot at the ball carrier here. It's only one die. Tempted to use a reroll here, but I'll hold off. Let's push him. Oh, he's got sand firm. I didn't really pay attention, so nobody moved. Fine. Got 
More one die shots I can throw, I guess we might as well. Down again. Let's see if we can take out the werewolf here. And let's push in. Stay put. We might leave the thrower here. He could try to run around and get by, but it's a lot of movement to kind of do that. I think he might just try to push forward and keep grinding me ahead. I haven't needed to use a reroll yet, so let's keep taking shots. Now I've got to use a reroll. Should have waited. Move him towards the edge of the field a little bit. And we'll just leave him there. That's fine. I've burned all my rerolls already. Don't like Mr. Chainsaw being anywhere near any of my people. Okay, well, using a reroll. He's got a ton of them, we might as well. Hey, nice! That's actually pretty darn good. Being out on the edge, away from his own guys. That's quite good for me. Got my thrower there. My runner's kind of hung up here, though. I could actually do a blitz here, take him out from being on the ground. Just looking if there's anybody else I might want to blitz instead. I don't think so. Yeah, let's do that, see if we can get to the ball that way. Down you go. Excellent job. Screen freaked out. Ghouls who are down. Let's just go grab the ball. Hopefully. Okay. Let's start heading downfield. Let's block the ghouls a little bit. Take some shots here. I'd like to free up my runner here if I can. I also don't like him being out here next to Mr. Chainsaw. Let's go this way so I still have assists. Both that block. All right, how about you give it a shot? Nope. Well, if I'd taken him out, I would have taken a shot here. Now, since I'm out of rerolls, I don't really want to take those one die rolls if I can avoid it. Um, it's tempting to at least try to dodge away to get away from the chainsaw. Even if I fail, um, I'm less likely to get chainsawed. Even though it's not a good chance. But 
It's fine. I'd rather have this happen than get chainsawed, essentially. So it's the players that are down that are actually more of a threat to me than the ones that are standing. Although, Chainsaw Boy might be a problem. Yep, here comes a blitz. One die, we'll see what he gets. Oh, taking me down. Well, that's the second game in a row with a death, so let's see if my Apothecary gets something better. Yeah, no casualty is a lot better. At least I'll still have him later in this game, but that's not a good sign. We're still early on in the game, having to burn that Apothecary. I just want to make sure he is there. Yep, okay. What can I do about the ball? I'm not sure. I guess we can throw you in there. Cancel the tackle zone. Try to free some people up by getting some blocks in. Let's go for him. Well, isn't that awesome. Guess I'll take attacker down of my two choices. So I'm going to free some people up, get somebody else over to counter him, and then getting a shot in here, close to the ball, take out the ghoul. That was sort of the plan. Hopefully he'll fail picking this up. No. He's got so many rerolls, he can just use one almost every turn. Stayed on my feet there so far, but we'll take another shot from the other ghoul, probably. And down we go. And a KO, too. That's not good. I don't have great armor, so I am more likely to take injuries with the Norse. Thankfully, we're just getting knocked out, and nothing more serious. Even the one die block is coming up good for him. Need to get away from his players, taking too many shots. Don't have a lot of people left. Uh, let's see. See if I can take him out. We'll try to get the Blitzer free. No, well, that's not great. We'll have a one die block next. So I think I want to Blitz here. Don't have a lot of movement with him. Let's come down here for now. Hey. 
How many turns does he have left? He's got two. Let's just hang out here. Kind of make it difficult for him to advance. Just hammer this guy. We do have jump up, so we'll have movement afterwards if we can take him out. It's fine. All right, where do we want to go? And let's just add tackles on coverage. So we've got coverage here, we've got coverage there. Casey tries to move it forward. I'm running out of players. This turn's going quick. The AI sometimes doesn't really pay attention to the turns, so it might just kind of yeah, it's gonna build a big cage and plan on grinding forward, but just he doesn't have time to do that before the half. So a human player would know he would have to get across already that last turn. Whereas AI sometimes does stupid things. Jeez. Just getting trashed. Got my guy with extra armor out here, keeping him busy. So next turn will be his last turn. There's no way I can score this half. Just down way too many people. Don't have anybody further down the field. Might be able to get an injury on the Chainsaw Goblin for some star player points. Try it with the runner. He doesn't have block, and I do, so it might work out. Nope. Yeah, I'll just stay put. Okay. That we go there. And you can just go there. Still has rerolls, so he might be able to beat me up a bit. But no way he can score. And then we'll get the ball for the second half. Hopefully we can score at some point. That would be nice. Yeah, doing another thing like this. I don't understand why he does this quite often. We build that block. So it won't go that badly for him. But the AI does that at least once or twice every single game. I don't even trust doing a one-die block, let alone doing a block where I'm at a disadvantage. Flush Golem! Okay, could have been worse. Aw, oh, come on. So many few people here. I don't think I can. Even if I get the ball, it doesn't matter. Um, at this point, I might just leave him on the ground instead of getting him up, taking a shot. Who 
do I want to hurt if I can? Guard or anything, do you? No, okay. Take a shot at the flesh golem here. I suppose. It doesn't have block, and I do, so we'll give it a shot. And it's accurate. That's what, I don't even trust doing one die blocks. That's why I don't. And that's it. Hopefully I get my knocked out players back. Come on. At least my Yeti. Who's getting up? I couldn't tell who that was. Yeti's still knocked out. That's not good. I took three of my rerolls. Uh, chainsaw's gone. Oh yeah, let's put my thrower on the front line. That's a great idea. Why would... Stupid thing. Alright. We've got... Strength. There's my Ulf Werner. So this is his setup. Because he's kicking. I don't understand why I would ever have this kind of a setup. Why it's choosing that. Let's put you back a little further. So, where's my extra strength player? Are you in the middle? Uh, extra armor guy, where are you? There, let's put you there. Couple zombies here. We've got ghoul and a white there, so a little slower on the left than the right. A little bit, not much. hammering again. Hopefully it's not too loud. I am playing with headphones on, so it's a little hard for me to tell how loud it actually is. And what I could do... Yeah, let's do this. Throw more people on the front line so I can get some advantageous shots in here. He's got four strength, so I've got a four plus one. Four plus one. So we might be able to drop those flesh golems. Take out the zombie in the middle, get some guys free and move around. Lost a turn. Okay, we've got one whole reroll, which is pretty pathetic. Go keep him busy.
Okay, hopefully we're not going to screw anything up here and have to use a reroll already. That's the hope anyway. Gonna get rid of one of these zombies. Grab the ball, hopefully. Do you have a werewolf free there? So priorities are to clear this side if we can. Get him free to cover the werewolf. Uh, he doesn't have blocks, that's fine. You cover the werewolf. You take him out, hopefully. Push is bad. Could be worse, though. Actually, stand firm actually is advantageous for me there. Something going from my way a little bit. Um, let's see. Should take him out. Tempted to try to foul actually here a little bit. It's your armor anyway. Nine, yeah, not too likely we'll get through it. The three. Forty-two percent chance is yeah, not great. Let's see. It's going to reinforce here, I guess. He might be able to get through here and get to my ball carrier, but I hope not. See where he's blitzing is kind of my main concern. Okay, not what I expected. Ah, oh, stun. Down we go. I was hoping we'd stay on our feet there, but would have taken a second shot if we did. Nice. That's quite helpful. Okay. Important things first, I guess. Uh, let's try to deal with the werewolf first. Just getting him out of the way. So I'm going to try to come back here. It'll make a toss to my runner here, hopefully. Nice. Caught it. Didn't even have catch. Everything turned out fine. Uh, a werewolf will probably be able to get free. Maybe. 
I could try to go for it a bit, but the werewolf will still catch me, because he's got an 8 movement. Pretty much nowhere I can get to other than actually getting a touchdown is going to save me there. Try something out here on the edge, since we do have the reroll still. That says accurate. Okay. Now I can take a shot at the werewolf. A little bit of an advantage. Yeah, I guess we'll follow. Good, 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 good. Uh, I don't think he can stop me now from scoring. Uh, I don't have an advantage anywhere for a block. I might even want to get out of this position. Avoid taking a shot. But I think we'll stay put and we'll just keep, keep everyone tied up. I don't want to take the risk of any shots here. No, we actually can make it. I didn't think he'd be able to make it from there. I should have counted it out. Just a push. Not great. Could be a lot worse. Dodge there, keeping me on my feet. See, he hasn't picked up tackle yet. Yeah, but you're going down. I keep saying accurate for everything now. Whenever a skill pops up. Alright, that's his reroll. Okay, hopefully I can get somebody down there to deal with the ghoul, and we can just run in. Yeah, all I needed was a push. And now you're free. Okay. Block. Let's take it down. I'm um, getting everybody up just because I am actually going to take at least one more shot at someone before I move in for the touchdown. Probably won't result in anything, but we'll take another shot here at the zombie. Headphones on, and that's still pretty loud, so hopefully, it's not like crazy noisy. The construction, anyway. Score! I swear, it feels like they're destroying my apartment, not the one below me or above me. I can't even tell, it's vibrating through the walls. So much posing! The Necromantic team's a lot tougher than the last time I played them. I haven't really done much of anything to them. Hey, finally, my Eddie comes back. Alright. That's fine. Got you deep. This is over here. So 
We've got tackle there, tackle there, tackle there. All right. So if we can get the ball, we want my other runner here to grab it and get in. If we can get another score, we'll be able to level him up. I don't think that's going to happen, but we'll see. Just aim for the center, keep it in play, hopefully. And we can change our setup. Okay. Well, I might, actually. Let's just move in a little bit closer, since he's not right on the line. And actually, I think I'm going to swap you two around, so we've got... Dual tackles on this side. Yeah, it's fine. I don't really see much else. I could add additional people to the front line here so I have an advantage against the uh, flesh golems. But all you have to do is bring some people up to cancel it, so it wouldn't really matter too much. And I'd like to cover the edges more than the center. Who's going to grab the ball? I guess the werewolf probably here. Nope, white's gonna take it. Okay. Or not. Fail! Fail again! Fail again! Ah, uh, it's too bad. Yeah, it's still popping up as accurate for everything. No way. And Manorgovich, perhaps. Okay. Come out here. Let's put you there. Put my guy with tackle on the ghoul. Let's try for a shot on the werewolf here. Make both that block. You don't have a guard, do you? No, okay. Let's try to take out, well, we get a couple dice on the Flesh Golem. Let's go for that. Doesn't have block, so it doesn't matter. He's not going to move anyway. Hey, nice. An injury, excellent. Freeze up another player. Let's try to tie up these two here, so we've got the increased strength. Just gonna keep hammering the werewolves. Stay put. See where I want to move him. Mm, 
Let's go here. Just kind of hang out there for a minute. I do have dodge. So I could try something crazy. But I don't really feel like this is the right time, necessarily. Uh, the zombie's got guards, so I don't really want to hang out in here. He already would have an advantage when he gets the werewolf up. So I think we'll just stay here and kind of cover the edge for now. Hope for the best. See if my Ulf Werner can take out the other flesh golem. Probably not. Try it again. Okay, that's something. A little bit of an opening. Um, let's move up. Not too far. I don't want to overcommit and then not have the movement to kind of deal with the situation as things change. With a slower team, it's something you really have to be careful about. Teams like dwarves and things. Overcommitting is a real danger. Be able to get up from that, it's okay. Yeah, here's another crazy block that he's going for. Doesn't end up being a turnover. I want to do first. Um, maybe move him. Try coming in from behind. Depending on how things go. Alright, take a shot here. Both have block. Unfortunate. All right, let's just do this. Ah, uh, there. Let's stay put. Under the doggo. I think we might just stay where we're at. We've got a pretty good line here in front of him. If we move one guy up, he's at a disadvantage. I could move multiple up, but it's not a great position to be in. And I don't really want to have my runners in that mess exactly. A lineman, maybe, but not a runner, not a thrower. All right, Yeti. Excellent. Hmm. 
Let's use Ivar. I kind of like having block with my runner, but I want the runner free and maybe to move him somewhere. There we go. Try to get in from behind if we can knock him back or get the ball free, potentially. And let's just go here, try to close this off as much as possible. See if he'll try to come around the edge, try to force his way through, or try to move out this way. Yeah, I think I'll just hold off there. That's fine. I don't want to take the risk of one dice blocks. One die blocks. Ooh, going down. As long as we can get up, well, <laughs> we're not. We're not going to get up next turn. Okay. Might be able to get a shot on the ball carrier here. Let's see. All right, let's just stand you up. Problem is, if I do, who's going to pick the ball up? Try to free up my runner here. Or not. All right, fine. Hey, put my thrower in harm's way. See if we can take him out. Let's go straight. Hey, and a KO. Where's the ball? Hmm. I do have dodge. Let's see if we can pick it up. Let's try that again. Essentially, three are better on a d6, so it should be relatively okay chances. Okay, um, let's try to take out the werewolf. And I will stay put. If I can, I'll try to hand it off to him and have him run it in. 
Not sure how likely that is to happen, though. And everybody else, I think we'll just leave to keep them occupied. So werewolf out on the edge may be a problem. Nope, didn't move him. Well, the ghoul's going for it. With no assists. Stuns. So I've only got one more turn. I'm not sure I can get it in unless I hand it off. I'm still another one of these crazy blocks. Yeah, still doesn't go bad for him. I've got to take that ghoul off of there if I want to hand it off. Uh, I can't make it in with him. I've got to hand it off and then run it in, so somebody's got to clear that ghoul. So I need somebody else to come down and do a blitz. Like laying here. Ah, he's got block. Let's just push him. Just get him out of the way. All right, let's go take care of the school. And what do I get with no rerolls left? Double attacker down. So much for scoring again. Well, that's a bunch of crap. I thought for sure I'd be able to get that clear and we could hand off, hopefully, and then run the ball in. Probably even if I did, I'd fail the handoff or I'd fail going for it or something. Disappointing. I always like it when it's you can get like a nice score in right at the very end of the game. It's a nice feeling. We're still going to win, but uh, it would have been nice to get a little score in at the end. Another extra star player points. None of this really matters, I'm just hoping I don't get hurt anywhere. Yeah, he was able to steal so many rerolls from me too, it really made things more difficult. He had a ton and I had none, or very few anyway. But well, we're still coming out with a win. I said I really would have liked to get one more score. It's nice to get that score at the end. It's a good feeling. Uh, three, that's fine, I guess. No increase to fan factor. Fourteen armor breaks to my eleven. Very little ball possession. One pass, one catch. 56 successful blocks. One KO, two injuries. There's three KOs, an injury. We did get a kill, technically. 44 and 10 is 48. Pretty close. I somehow got... Well, because we got a pass. Uh, we had an injury that we inflicted. A couple people injured. Inflicted injuries. MVP, all that kind of stuff. All right, so we are still at the top with four wins, zero losses. Next, we have Lizardmen with three wins and a draw. Actually, I thought they were fairly easy the first time I played them, but that was kind of early on. It's killing the skinks. wasn't too bad. Uh, Ogres are in next with three wins and a loss. Who's up next for me? Dusk Snakes. I think that's the Dark Elves. Uh, yeah. 
So they actually beat me last time when I played them. Hopefully we can at least get a draw out of them. Oh, my Yeti leveled up. Really? Okay. What do we want? Guard, probably. Um, I could take Thick Skull, maybe. But I think Guard is probably more effective for him being on the front line in the center. Anything else? Juggernaut only really helps if I'm blitzing. Piling on I don't want to use because I may not get up. Multiple block, I don't really find that useful. Yeah, just grab guard. Um, we've got a bunch of money. So we are actually impacting our team value because we have more than 150,000. Uh, I don't really need another player. Let's grab another reroll. So our, see, our team value didn't change at all doing that. So up to five. I'll hold off. It's tempted to grab cheerleaders and stuff, but that'll affect my team value. That only really affects the uh, kickoff table results, though. Alright, so next time we'll have the Dark Elves. We do have a much higher value than them, so they'll probably have some shenanigans. But that'll be it for now. So thanks very much for watching. Uh, if you're interested in earlier streams or older Blood Bowl streams or other Games Workshop games, you can always check out other ones on my channel. Thanks very much for coming by. Hopefully I will see you all again. Have a good one.